Hello and welcome to my DIY today and today we're just going to show you some fun things uh, to make for a Valentine party. The grandkids are all coming over for dinner on Sunday so I want to have some fun things for them so I'm going to show you what I've got planned and uh, let me show you what you need. And this is fun little thing, just little cookie cutters and this is a fruit roll up, a fruit roll and you just press that on there and you make these cute little little fruit roll-ups little Mickey Mouse head and this one's a elephant and these are actually vegetable cutters but I thought it'd be fun to do a little little fruit roll-up so that, that's fun let the kids sit and sit and do that with the with the cutters okay that's one thing and next get some jello and you, we're going to make the jello um, not all, make it like little jello squares. And we'll cut those out with the cookie cutter. So we'll go ahead and get that made. Next one will be Rice Krispie squares. These marshmallows are old. Just like, even shrunk up a bit. But those will be good to melt. Make Rice Krispie squares and cut them into heart shapes with the, uh, the heart um, cookie cutter. So let's do that. And I have big heart cookie cutter and a little one. So let's go ahead and cook up the jello and melt the marshmallows. And on the back of the box, it usually tells you what you can make. And these look good too. I might make those and shape them, in, shape them into hearts. Just buy a box of these ro fruit roll-ups and the kids love having races with them or they put them in their mouth and try and eat them up as fast as they can. Anyway, let's go ahead and get things going. This is my big uh, candy pot and just follow the directions on the package. Put in the butter and the marshmallows and it should melt just fine. And then I can shape them into the hearts. The kids will love that. So it's just the marshmallows, the butter, and then the Rice Krispies. Let's cook up the jello. Just follow the directions on the package for the not regular jello, but the hard jello. I'm going to do uh, those two packages. Hey, the jello is done. Just put it in the fridge. And now the Rice Krispies, you just let them cool off in a pan. Smush them down and then we'll cut cut the heart shapes out of them. You can use the big one and the little one. Cut these shapes out. And this is how the Rice Krispies turned out. Rice Krispie hearts. These are a few leftover pieces. That looks like a billy goat. <laughs> you can throw them away or let the kids eat them. But there's your hearts. Now just follow the instructions for this one. And it's one fourth a cup of butter in a saucepan, a third a cup of brown sugar, and one cup of peanut butter. And melt that together. And put aside three cups of cereal. While I'm waiting for that to melt together, I've got the jello out. And you get a little bit of hot water and let the jello sit in there to loosen up a bit. Okay, there's hot water in there and just let it melt and then I will use my cookie cutters for my shapes that I want. And this is melting and when that melts I'll add oh add a cup of chocolate chips and then add the Rice Krispie squares. See how cute those are and then the kids just pick them up and eat them. And I'll go ahead and finish that. I'm not going to use the big one because I want lots of them. For your peanut butter mixture over here, put your chocolate chips in and let those melt. I've turned off the unit because you don't want this to boil. You just want it to melt. And I'm using the leftover heat. And look how cute those are. And then the leftover jello I'll just cut into little squares. Okay, now back to the peanut butter mixture. Put in the three cups of Rice Krispie squares and then 
put it on a greased pan. We'll just let those uh, get hard enough that we can cut. Now here's the hearts and here's just the leftover pieces. The kids will love those too. Okay, I've had this in the fridge for a while. Now we'll just cut little chocolate hearts. And there you go. Cute, huh? That's how you have a Valentine party. And you can just pretty much do anything you want as long as hearts are involved. And uh, we'll let the kids have these on Sunday. And happy Valentine's Day and happy love. And remember, Valentine's Day isn't just for couples. It's for everybody. It's the day of love. And remember, my uh, DIYs come every Friday at 2. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. And goodbye.